Aloha kakahiaka kako. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to this year's Innovation Conference. And the timing couldn't be more perfect. We all know Hawaii and much of the country in the world is struggling to recreate an economy shattered by COVID-19 and this pandemic. And there is no better time and there is no better group of people to really get together and uh, envision how we will be able to do this collaboratively for Hawaii. We need to rebuild this shattered economy around a vision. And so today, this morning, what I would like to do is offer up a vision from the University of Hawaii Board of Regents. And this was approved in April 2017 as part of our new integrated academic and facilities plan. Hawaii is a special place where diverse people and communities live, work, learn, and play together in a sustainable manner. Hawaii's economy is vibrant and globally competitive, characterized by engaging living wage jobs. Inspired by its host culture, Hawaii treasures and protects its amazing environment as it promotes a high quality of life for all its people. We can all pick our words, but I think most can agree that this is an inspiring vision for our new economy. But much of the work ahead needs to be done together. UH has a responsibility to help Hawaii grow new economic sectors and help transform and strengthen some of our existing sectors as well. We have seen the fragility that results when we rely on just one or two sectors. In the past, that was large-scale agriculture and military spending. More recently, it has been mass tourism and military spending. In moving forward, we need a more diversified economy. There is not just one silver bullet that will replace what has come before. We need to try out a number of sectors, both because we need a more diversified economy, but also because, quite frankly, we don't know exactly what will succeed and we can't bet on just one sector. So let me say a few words about some of the sectors that I believe can succeed for us and in which UH can and must invest. First, computer science and engineering. We have all heard for decades about the importance of growing a high-tech sector, and that is more true now than ever before. We have achieved some successes, and we need to do more. We know there are specific areas in which we have strengths and where we can do better. These include cybersecurity, always growing with some effective programs across the UH system. We have built strong, nascent capabilities in data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and visualization that are already proving their successes across UH and in the community, and we need to do more to strengthen these. A second area I want to highlight is creative media. We all know the strengths of our kids, and our YNI kids have really epitomized this for us um, to tell their creative stories through digital media. We have an amazing new creative media building coming up at UH West Oahu that will serve the entire state of Hawaii. And we have the opportunity now, as we watch so many productions want to shoot in Hawaii, to develop a new film studio here that can support more production. There's a lot more we have to do around our amazing Mele program that focuses on music at Honolulu Community College. We have eSports coming up throughout the state uh, with a strong program here at, here at UH Manoa that is increasingly competitive and much more we can do as we try to bring in these digital high-tech sectors to create new jobs and create new opportunities in Hawaii. Another area I want to mention is green jobs. These are the jobs that help us create a more sustainable and resilient environment, leveraging our strengths and capabilities, but also creating export areas. These are around sea level rise. We have among the best expertise in the world, coral reef health, vital to the health of our oceans around the world, the impact of weather and our amazing Pacific Disaster Center that's a resource 
for the hemisphere and beyond, our renewable energy programs at the Hawaii Net Natural Energy Institute, and our strength with helping understand microgrids on which we rely across our islands, but also have applicability throughout the Pacific on military bases and other locations that are looking to microgrids to increase their resilience as well. And of course, conservation. That is our opportunities to help uh, strengthen our own and bring back our own uh, native and indigenous ecosystems, but also to bring these skills to other locations in the Pacific and around the world. The protection and restoration of our native environments is also an economic imperative that strengthens our watersheds and the values, uh, both cultural and economic, of our lands throughout the islands. A fourth area I want to mention is food, agriculture, and aquaculture. We know we have to do more to create healthy local foods for our population and decrease our reliance on food that comes in from other places. But we also have to create more high value and export crops that can help create that more traded economy on which we need to rely. This is not a matter of local food versus export crops. We must do both to strengthen our, our population and also our economy. Finally, let me mention tourism and growing a new kind of tourism, more sustainable tourism, some kind, sometimes called smart tourism. We know we need to reduce the numbers. We don't want 10 million tourists back who are going for the cheapest uh, vacation rental they can find to lie on our beaches and uh, strain them and stress them. We've all seen how Hanama Bay has come back with less stress on that uh, fragile location. Um, and we don't need people who just shop in our Costco. What we need is a higher value form of tourism that engages with our community. Medical tourism, edutourism, ecotourism, culinary tourism, cultural tourism, voluntourism. These all create positive engagement with our communities, with our people, to create a better perception of tourism, but also to create more living wage jobs for people who have the opportunity to share what they love in this community, healthcare, education, their own cultures, their own cooking, the all, their own opportunities to take interested visitors into the forest, into the ocean, to share what they know and what they love about our Hawaii. These are areas that represent substantive economic and competitive advantages for Hawaii, where we will not just be another tag along with another Silicon Valley, but where we br bring our unique values, our unique talents into the global marketplace to thrive. And where the University of Hawaii has recognized strengths that has been developed as we've learned to address the challenges and opportunities that Hawaii faces to excel globally. These all contribute to both our circular and our traded economies, and our capacity is more authentic when we share with others what we do for ourselves. The last economic sector I want to mention is UH research. We don't always think of it as an economic sector, but last year, our UH extramural funding was over $450 million. This is a major activity for Hawaii's economy that creates thousands of good jobs across all the islands with positive economic impact, impacts through the multiplier of those jobs in that economic activity. And best of all, that is work that we do at UH across our campuses to address those challenges and opportunities that we face in Hawaii and across the Pacific. We need to continue to invest in the areas in which we uh, have proven excellence to maintain our high performance. It is competitive. Those are the areas of ocean, earth, and atmospheric sciences, astronomy and space sciences, 
environmental microbiology, climate change and resilience, energy, disaster management, and our well-known study and excellence in uh, our understanding of Asia and the Pacific, as well as Hawaii and our people. But we also need to identify where the areas of competitive advantage are, where we can build capacity to build an even stronger research enterprise across Hawaii through our university. We know we can do more in the health sciences, building on our excellence in health disparities, where we leverage our incredibly diverse population to understand how to serve our diverse uh, population and also take that expertise globally to understand solutions for the populations elsewhere. We know we can excel in agriculture and aquaculture, levering, leveraging this amazing place that we live and do more both for our own local food, but also to create export crops and expertise, including food technologies, agricultural technologies, aquaculture technologies that can be exported throughout the world. We know we can do more in computer science and engineering than we have to date, and we must build up our strength and capacity across the UH system in these areas. And we know there is some amazing growth opportunity in work around the Pacific as Hawaii positions ourselves to be the center of expertise in the Pacific and an extension of UA US policy in the Pacific through Hawaii. UH research needs to continue and expand as a major economic, but also an intellectual driver for innovation in Hawaii. There is more work to do on our part. We need to increase our community impacts, the number of startups generated out of UH, the number of jobs created, and the amount of external investment that we bring in. But we know that no community has developed into an economic powerhouse without the engagement of a strong research university. And UH Manoa is here as Hawaii's research university. This will not be easy, but it cannot be business as usual either. And UH is up to and committed to the task before us. Every change at UH faces inherent opposition and we'll be looking to the community to help support us through the changes that we know we have to make as well. But our future economy must be more diversified, more sustainable, and more equitable than the economy that was shattered by COVID-19. We must and we can innovate together to build our new economy so that we can all thrive together in the new normal. So mahalo for your time and attention, and I look forward to seeing you later in this week as I join one of the panels on Friday. Aloha.